Hey everyone, welcome to the Grown Up Millennial. So I used the community tab for the first time uh, to use a poll to ask what kind of video you guys were interested in and a tour of my frugal pantry slash kitchen turned out to be number one. So that's what I'm gonna do for y'all today. A caveat as usual is that my kitchen is not necessarily gonna look like your kitchen. This is not a how to have a kitchen or you need to have all of these things in it. It's just what mine looks like, what kind of food I tend to keep on hand, as well as I'm gonna cover a little bit of like tips and tricks, things I do to reduce food waste or why I buy this over that, etc. A couple things to keep in mind, I don't have any kids. I am married to a man who eats a little bit differently than I do. I tend to eat primarily plant-based. I very rarely eat meat or even dairy, um, or at this point, I never really liked eggs but I don't eat a lot of animal products. Um, he prefers to eat a few more animal products, so you're gonna see a mix of that in there. Um, in addition, I am pretty privileged in that I live in California, which has great produce at a really reasonable price, and I also can grow some produce in my front yard. We have a vegetable garden out there. I also work from home. I'm not a professional YouTuber by any means. I have like a real regular job. I just get to do it from home instead of having to drive somewhere. So it gives me a few more options in what I can cook for lunches, etc. So you're also going to see um, probably a lot less convenience food than normal. This is not to shame anyone who relies on convenience food. I just have the liberty of being able to cook a little bit more of my food from scratch. I have some more time to do that. One other thing that you're going to note is I do try to cut down on my plastic. Um, you are going to see some plastic in the kitchen obviously, but I do try to like, cut down on the packaging and waste that I produce. So you're gonna see a little bit of that as well. But overall, what I do hope this will show is a reasonably inexpensive, healthy, easy kitchen. I don't tend to keep really weird ingredients on hand or anything that no one's ever heard of. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, we're gonna start off with my pantry, which is really just a bunch of cupboards. Uh, we have four shelves in here. This shelf is all my roommates, so we're not gonna cover that. So here on the bottom shelf, you're gonna see a lot of stuff in jars. I buy stuff from the bulk bins, um, because it's pretty cheap, uh, and then I can cut it out on the plastic, and then I just put them in repurposed jars. So let's get started. So back here we have black beans, these are chickpeas, and these are lentils, so my legumes. These are all, I don't know, usually a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty a pound. This is steel cut oats, which I prefer for oatmeal. Um, I get this for about 89 cents a pound. Uh, popcorn, also about 89 cents a pound. This back here is soy protein isolate. So it's like a protein powder, but it's just soy. There's no sugar or anything added. I get that for about eight dollars a pound. Uh, nutritional yeast. I don't know what I get this for, but I use this for um, making things taste cheesy without cheese. We have almonds. So nuts are always kind of a mixed bag. I wait until they go on a really good sale and then I stock up a ton. This is Little Bars of Dark Chocolate, also from the bulk bin. This is like really dark, I think like 85% Colombian. Uh, two cans of black eyed peas left over from the wedding. This is a jar of dates. I bought those so long ago, I have no idea the prices. Uh, some honey, I don't really use honey much, but uh, occasionally, so it doesn't really go bad. Skippy, so this is my partner's peanut butter. He just does not like natural peanut butter, whereas I prefer natural peanut butter, so I keep mine in the fridge. And then some we have a uh, hot sauce, and that is balsamic vinegar. Had those forever. All right, and then this I consider sort of my baking shelf. So back here on the right, that is white flour. I have a giant bag of it that I'll show you. So I don't want to go into the giant bag all the time, so I put a little bit in a jar. This is sea salt, also bought from a bulk bin. This is whole wheat flour. So I use both of these for baking bread, which is why I have a lot of flour. 
uh, vanilla. I got this from Costco. I think it was like $10 for this huge jar, so that's an amazing price. This is just white sugar up there. This is baking soda. I have two huge boxes of it. And again, I put it in a smaller jar. Uh, cocoa powder, so we bought this. I use this for like brownies, and cupcakes and stuff. Uh, brown sugar, confectioner sugar. My partner was recently sick and this is his favorite soup when he's sick. Move that out of the way. More confectioner sugar, uh, some cornstarch baking powder. That is a giant thing of coconut oil. I bought it like two years ago. Still not done. And then cupcake liners. And then up there is sort of like my backup or things I don't use as often. So this is cashews. I actually have another jar behind there. So we bought this at like $3.99 a pound, which if you buy cashews, you know, is an amazing price. My partner has those for his, with his lunches. It's one of his snacks. White rice. Um, I mean, white rice is cheap. I think we get it like 59 cents a pound in the bulk bins. More almonds, so I bought them at a really good price and I stocked up. Rolled oats, I use that for my partner's oatmeal and for like apple crisps. And then this is called uh, TVP, textured vegetable protein, or um, it's, in Spanish it's carne de, carne de soya. So that's gonna be, it's just like, soy that you use to make like mock meats and then the syrup is my roommates. And down here we have uh, all my spices. Um, I still need to buy more but usually I have like it's like paprika, chili powder, I think this is coriander, yep, turmeric, cinnamon, chili powder, more chili powder currently, uh, cumin, oregano, I don't know what these are. Oh, this is like a chicken spice mix that my dad made. Lemon, we have two lemon pepper seasonings? All right. Um, I don't even know what the name of this is. Just various spices. Uh, over here is where we keep our onions and our garlic because I want to be in a dark place. Uh, apple, cider vinegar. I usually, I use this to do uh, for my hair. I'll do like a hair rinse once a week. My roommate's coconut oil, rice vinegar. More balsamic vinegar and some molasses. I don't really use molasses. This was left over from the wedding, so I gotta find something to do with it. Uh, the other jar of peanut butter, so we get these from Costco. I think we paid $7 for those two jars. So not bad, seeing how big they are. This is the giant bag of flour that I mentioned. So this is a 25 pound bag that we got for $5 from Costco. So like 20 cents a pound, great price. Um, and I use it to do a lot of baking. And then back here, we have a giant thing of white vinegar. I think we paid a couple dollars for this. I mostly use this to make cleaning products. Like this, this is like a lemon infused cleaning vinegar. More spices. Uh, half a box of pasta. A few jars of pasta sauce, also from Costco. I think we got like three or four for like eight bucks. And then this is a coffee powder for my partner. So I make him a nice a coffee every morning. We buy this from Coffee Bean. What do we pay? I think we pay like 50 or $60 for six of these. They give you like a 10, 15% discount if you buy six. Um, and then, I don't know, each of these lasts me probably almost a month. A lot cheaper than going to Coffee Bean every day. And then here we just have some more baking powder, uh, cocoa powder, and red food dye. And I think there's more flour back there, but you can't see it. All left over from the wedding when we did a bunch of baking for the cupcakes. Over on this side, we keep our cooking oils by the uh, oven, because that's where I cook with them. These are my roommate's um, olive oil. You don't cook with this, at least the extra virgin kind, but have it over here. This is just a Mediterranean blend oil. So it's like canola oil, grapeseed, and some non-extra virgin olive oil. So that's good for cooking. And avocado oil. So this, I like that it was in glass, more easily recycled, and could be heated to a high temperature. 
because you don't want to that's why you don't want to do extra virgin olive oil is it will smoke and burn if you use too high of heat but it leaves a weird film on my pans when I cook so I don't want to use this anymore um, those are dog treats for Teddy and then uh, our, gar our summer garden's dying down so we're gonna start planting for our winter garden and then up here is like our coffees and teas and stuff so I buy a lot of our coffee and, bulk and tea in bulk so this is green tea from bulk black tea um, this is like a sleepy time blend I know there's some peppermint tea back there that we that I made we grew some peppermint and then I dried it so I usually get the coffee for like eight or nine uh, dollars a pound and grind it at the store and then the teas I usually get for about a dollar and ounce but it lasts a lot longer than bag teas these are my roommates and then here's some hot chocolate we were given last Christmas uh, here on the counter here's the hazelnut powder we're currently working with for his um, coffees these are a couple tomatoes we have a bunch more in the front yard I have to pick but these are tomatoes from our garden so we're those we have some avocados those are from our neighbor's tree so we're waiting for them to turn black they are going to take forever to turn black and we have an old banana that I should probably put in the fridge um, and then a lemon and a lime so as a heads up, I am very tall and my fridge is very short, so I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble showing y'all everything. So here is milk. We pretty much only use this for my partner's coffee. Uh, our Brita filter of water. This is my favorite plant milk. So it tastes really good um, and it has 10 grams of protein, which is higher than cow's milk. Um, it's not soy milk, which I don't, just don't love soy milk. I don't love the taste. Um, and it's also fortified with calcium and vitamin D, which is something I need. Um, this is, I think we get it for like two seventy nine a half gallon, which is not bad. And then back here we have almond milk, which I use for more of like cooking and baking and putting in my oatmeal. Um, uh, we get like a twelve pack of this from Costco for like ten seventy nine, so less than a dollar for each of these, which if you buy almond milk, it is an amazing price. So those eggs are my roommates. This is flaxseed meal. I think I got it for like $2.50 a pound, but it's super light. I use this in oatmeal and smoothies and baking. This is uh, cut up broccoli. So I always try to cut up my veggies, so I actually will use them. This is our cheese drawer. Um, we have some flavored butters left over from the wedding, which is uh, a couple things of Parmesan cheese from uh, Costco, and then a big block of cheddar cheese also from Costco, and then the rest is my roommates. Oh, wait. Can I have these? I, forgot. I also have, so these are field roast vegan sausages, which I really like. They're apple sage flavored, and I think they're really tasty. So down here, this is natural peanut butter. So I do make my own peanut butter because I can do it without plastic. Um, and it's pretty cheap. I get the peanuts for about $2 or $2.50 a pound. Uh, half an onion. Next time I'm cooking. This is, this is the shredded, the, yeah, this is shredded broccoli stalks. So I like to make like broccoli fritters out of those to, Stop some waste. This is half a block of tofu and some green beans from the garden. Our last green bean harvest. And down here we have some zucchini noodles. This is some shredded zucchini that I also will put in the fritters. This is fried zucchini we got as an appetizer at a restaurant. This is, what is this? Oh, it's soy rizzo. So it's like, uh, I used that soy meat you saw earlier to make a vegan chorizo. And then these are black beans. So we have, uh, this is Sunday, this past week we had burrito bowls. So I had big containers of this. This is just the last little bits. I need to use them up. This is a watermelon from our garden. Um, and then this is cut up watermelon. So I've been snacking on that. This is our last zucchini of the season. 
they always get really too big. Um, and then that is some vegetable broth that I made and thawed. I'm gonna use that up this week. This drawer is just carrots. It's a lot of carrots. We get these for, oh gosh, 50 cents a pound. Um, our, dog gets, our dog gets a carrot every day for breakfast, so we always have a lot of carrots on hand, and then I do cook with them. Uh, here is half of a giant zucchini, which we're still eating up. See, we have a lot of zucchini. Uh, that's an apple for me, a cucumber from the garden, another cucumber from the garden, and avocado we bought from the store, and another cucumber from the garden. And here on the door, so most of that's my roommates, but this is our butter, our eggs. So I try to buy eggs that were treated nicely, or eggs that were treated, uh, I try to buy eggs from chickens that were treated nicely. Um, there's not always possible. Um, barbecue sauce, ketchup, roommates, 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 roommates. Um, roommates, sesame oil, oh, yeast. This is the yeast I use for baking bread. Um, mayo, I never the use mayo, so, but someone gave it to us. Um, I think the rest is my roommates. Uh, soy sauce, obviously. This is iced coffee that I make for the morning coffees from my partner. A little bit of salsa, that's my roommates, and then these are two types of mustard, because my partner loves mustard. These are all my roommates. Yeah, oh, and then I think this is ours. I think someone gave this to us, I have no idea. Yeah, so these all belong to my roommate. All right, and then here is our freezer. So most of the stuff on the bottom is my roommates, except this is bread that I made. So this is the white bread for my partner. I slice it and I freeze it in just an old bread bag we already have. These are cupcakes, cupcakes from our wedding that we're gonna eat on our one year. This is, so whenever I have stuff like onion skins or carrot peelings or something, they go in this bowl and then when it's full, I make vegetable broth, which you can see in my budget food prep video. A uh, little piece of ginger, it's our ice bucket. It's my partner's ice cream, because he loves ice cream. Um, can't not have it in the house. These are two jars of vegetable broth. This is walnuts, so again, I wait till these go on sale. I think I usually wait until they're like $3.99 a pound, and then I put them in giant jars. And walnuts, because they're such high fat content, you do want to freeze them if you're not going to use them right away. All right, so these are two bags of spinach and cheese ravioli. So this is sort of our screw it. We didn't think about what to cook tonight. Dinners. These are frozen ravioli from my partner's favorite restaurant. So they give you so like some takeaways. Um, can't really see it, but under here there's a big pork shoulder. I got it for like 99 cents a pound. And I haven't thought of what to do with it. It's just too much meat. So I'm gonna try to have a dinner party or something. Let's see, we have some frozen banana that I was using for smoothies. Probably make nice cream or something with it. Uh, and then this is my bread. So this is the whole wheat bread that I make for myself. Also sliced, frozen, and put in an old bread bag. Um, butter. I try to buy them. I like this package. You get these two, like it's four giant stick, giant blocks. So I just cut off what we need in the butter dish. Um, but this comes without plastic, which I like. I try to avoid plastic. We're reasonable. And then over here, this is a ham hock. So I use it to uh, making soup broth sometimes when I want like a hammy soup. These are my, the rest of my roommates. And then down here we have edamame. So I'll use that in like stir fries and stuff. Add some protein. Um, I think I get this for like $2 a bag, something like that. This is the rinds of Parmesan. So you throw those in soup and it makes it taste really rich. So I keep the ends of all our Parmesan. This is, uh, my partner bought this. This was not cheap, but we wanted to try it because he loves creme brulee. That's his favorite dessert. Um, and then these some veggie burgers. They were on sale. Um, they're not great. They're pretty low in protein. This is a jar of breadcrumbs. So whenever I have bread that goes a little bit stale or burnt, I'll just pulse it and then I use it when I need breadcrumbs. 
Uh, this is, oh, this is tomato paste. So if you're like me, you never finish a jar of tomato paste when you first open it. So I will portion it out and freeze it in like one tablespoon portions and then put it in a jar. Uh, so that way I don't waste it. This is pesto. So I grow basil in the garden and I'll make pesto and then I'll freeze it in an ice cube tray and put it in here, portion it out in here. Um, so then I can use like one cube per small bowl of pasta. And then this is uh, roasted tomatoes from the garden. Just uh, threw those in the blender after I roasted them and then I froze them. So I can use those later in the year when we don't have good tomatoes. And then just checking if there's anything else. Uh, we do buy a couple ramens for my partner. Sometimes that's just what he wants. Um, these are like a pastry from Netherlands. I think it's the Netherlands. They have caramel in them. Very tasty. Got those from Costco for a couple bucks. This is the giant thing of almond milk that I told you about and our wine rack because of course. So that's my kitchen. I know it's not like Instagrammable or like a true YouTuber's kitchen, but I'm not a, I'm not a real YouTuber. I don't do this full time. I don't, I don't have a pretty kitchen. So, um, I hope you found that helpful or at least interesting. I know I tend to like these tours. I don't know why, but I really do. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this kitchen tour, as well as anything that you like to keep on hand, any staples um, or ways that you reduce waste in the kitchen and save money. You guys give me great tips on my other food videos, so hopefully we'll hear more of that down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, or don't, honestly, YouTube's gonna show you my videos if you watch enough of them anyways. You don't really need to subscribe. I'd like you to, but you don't really have to. All right.